Oh, this is Lance Johns. I'm doing hopefully a final video tonight about Las Vegas and the casinos reopening and stuff. They are open. I know the ones. I know the ones downtown Las Vegas. They were open first, and the ones around the Las Vegas uh, Valley area they were open. And um, I picked up somebody last night from Arizona. Char Charlie's on Decatur, so they are open. And but I just want to just want to talk about this in general. A lot of casinos that advertising on billboards to, to welcome people back. And uh, a lot of casinos, they, they have the sanitizer in there. And they have like like one slot on, the one next to it is like disabled, and the next one's on. And they're doing they're doing all kind of stuff, you know, to make people feel like re welcome back and make them try to make them feel comfortable. Um, I know, um, let's see, um, at, at the seven eight days of silence, long the signals came back to life. Thursday started at 12, 1 a.m. and then late later on the day, welcome back to the games and the touring that serve as Nevada lifeblood. March 18th, uh, 2019 commercial casinos uh, shut down because of Steve Sislak orders. Since then, like that, um, a lot of people in tourism, they have been getting unemployment. Uh, some people have been getting paid, some people have not been getting paid. A lot of people have been, been laid off. And it, and Las Vegas had reported the highest unemployment rate in the U.S. metropolitan area. But all that have changed starting midnight, you know, and stuff open back up. But they say uh, it would take uh, a year to a year and a half for Las Vegas to recover from this. But, um, well, c c casino companies, they had to uh, adjust because they wanted to open more that weekend, but they weren't able to. And then they had to uh, put the um, their plan to, um, the game board to get it approved and stuff. And, but right now, right, right now, uh, like I said before, you know, Caesars probably, uh, Caesars Harris and Flamingo is open. The MGM uh, Grand, the, M the New York, New York. And Bellagio is open, and MGM Signature is in re reopening. Um, I think that the Win and the Encore is open. I think the Venetian is open. The Treasure Island is open, and I keep hearing Circus Circus is going to open. I'm not for sure, but I keep hearing that Circus Circus is is going is going to reopen too, and that's that way for MGM to uh, feel rougher. But I'm not, I'm not hundred percent on that. But I believe Circus Circus is finna open too. But they, they have to make the customers feel welcome and feel like it's clean. And I know, um, oh, I thought somebody was right there. And um, a lot of casinos around the valley has opened up. Like the stage casinos, a lot of them have opened up. All of them, a lot of them has reopened. So um, we'll, we'll see what happens. And yeah, let's see, I'm just trying to, and a lot of restaurants and cycle signals are reopened. The buffets ain't open yet. And the, the, the resort partners are, they're, they're happy about the bookings and they're relieved to see La Vida Resort coming back online after, after their months of a station halt. And um and travel bookers are on the rise. Especially for the week of June fourth to eleven. Yeah, a, a lot of stuff has been booked already, like a lot of uh plane tickets, hotel rooms have been booked. But a, a lot of hotel uh, searches are in the surge. 
but uh, Las Vegas is expecting to open up more properties, you know, in the coming uh, weeks. They expect to open up more, but once traffic uh, increases, they're, they're going to open up more properties. And uh, Southwest Airlines has received like more bookings, and that's uh, uh, Las Vegas McCarran Airport uh, business uh, carrier. And Spirit Airlines is, is, is Las Vegas McCarran's second uh, carrier. But uh, and Allegiant Air. That they, they, they have uh, had a 99% drop since April, but their bookings are going up too. But uh, but uh, Las Vegas has a 33.4 unemployment rate, and um, it's the highest out of all the 51 metro areas in the United States. And it's even higher than Detroit, which is a second at 24.4%. And Las Vegas uh, did lose 200 jobs from March to April. And many of the other workers have jobs in the tourist industry, which employed um, 276 direct jobs and 450 other supporting jobs, according to Nevada Resort Association. But uh, not, not everybody has been brought back. But they said Thursday open is a major step of getting Las Vegas back on track. But they said along with as the COVID nineteen is out there, it's go it's it's go be it's gonna be a while before everything recovers. And travel is still gonna be affected until they get a grip on the COVID nineteen. But um, but they say they have people with the reservations in the June or July. But that 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 they just want that that they just want this to be like set in stone, and that they, 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 they want the reservation to go up and everything, so they can open up more properties, so so the recovery can recover, so the recovery can can be better. But recovering from a 33.5% unemployment rate takes time. And, Mil and M M Stephen Miller, who is the director of UNV Center for Business and Economic Research, argued that there's a, ch a chance of the decrease in demand that could help speed up the state recovery and longer change this from a wrong pace. But M Miller does expect casino operators will hire those that have lost their jobs in the pandemic. He said there will be more insights in local income in the future and early fall where the district will open. Until then, keep your fingers crossed. But um, that, that's prayer about it. Pray that everybody gets back to some form of no normalcy or normality. But uh, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for listening. Comment below. Wash your hands, stand out your hands, um, cover your mouth. We you sneeze and cough? Oh, yeah, that's why I should have. Okay, um, wear a mask, six feet social distance, or don't be a hoarder. Um, see something, say something, don't be afraid to speak out. If you're sick, stay at home. Thanks for listening, and have a good night. I really need, need to be driving. All right, bye. Thank you.